Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Manchester United, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Might be a chance here. Well, just went a bit too early, offside. Rudi Fuller. Into the advanced position goes Modric, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. On to Puskas. Managed to get it out of there. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. De Jong. Rudy Fuller. And he's through here. De Jong. They've regained possession. Florian Neuhaus must take the lead here and the danger is averted Rafinha and the ball with Shevchenko Pushkash sloppy in possession from United Florian Neuhaus sound piece of defending Roberto Carlos, Lorenzo Insigne, Pushkash. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Here's Insigne, intercepting it intelligently. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. One minute of added time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Frankie de Jong. Andriy Shevchenko. And a good tackle. And that's all rolled through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. And the pass deftly cut out. And Real doing well to win it back. Further. Well, what a stop that was. De Jong. Pushkas. Shevchenko. And in with a real chance. Save, but still a chance. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Serge Gnabry. Florian Neuhaus and the ball with Shevchenko 10 minutes to go then can he put them in front it wouldn't quite go in for him couldn't make the breakthrough well that was a decent chance he needed to make the goalkeeper work really we still wait for the opener five minutes remaining then and the score sheet remains blank and Lucio coming away with the ball. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans... Oh, big chance! Can he finish? Well, he certainly caught all of that. 
It was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. And that will be all for this game anyway. No goals to report. Defences on top. And Stuart, as ever, interested to get your take. Well, Derek, I think it was a good tactical battle. There was a lot of endeavour, some good defending, but not enough attacking quality. And that's why we didn't get any goals. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It is Manchester City, and they take on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, they have the ball once more. Barella. Well, great read there to intercept. Florian Neuhaus. The pie. Lozano. And a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Nuno Menj. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. De Bruyne. Oyar Sabal. He has teammates around him. It might be. Can they forge ahead? And Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. And what a boost that will be for his side. Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. The pie. Barella. It has to be! And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. De Licht, Fuller, Oyar Sabal, Rudy Fuller, offside, a tight one. There to take it away. Well, nearing the half-time interval and Manchester City still trailing. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts. Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. That is that for the first half here. The ball moving again. Real have the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Fuller. De Bruyne. The ball with Luka Modric. Excellent defending. What can Real do from this position? 
Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Kai Havertz. Barella. Lozano. Oh, he's given the ball away. De Bruyne. Modric. De Bruyne now. Fuller. Will he find the net? And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, just look at his strength there. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Substitution for Real Madrid. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Very quick thinking there. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Kai Havertz. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Havertz. And return to Fuller. Depay. Lozano. Well, in the closing stages, and City not enjoying themselves out there. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game, certainly when they haven't had the ball. They're closing down, decision-making and recovering. Is it going to be? The has ended. And so there we have it, the final whistle, and Manchester City have lost this game. What did you make of it? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggled to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.